my YouTube friends, so I know that this does not look like my classroom, and that's because it is not. Hello, Poochie Pooch. I'll show you my doggy because he is the cutest thing ever. Look at him. Is he not adorable? You have to love him. Look at his face. Oh, I just love him. But if I move around, it's because he is literally like all over me on my lap. Um, it is Saturday, and that is why that I'm not in my classroom. It is Saturday, September 1st, and I have had a really bad day with my lupus. Like, it has really kicked my tail today. I was supposed to go on a big adventure ride trip on my dual sport and I just wasn't feeling it this morning. So I ended up staying home, and so I was super, super productive. Um, I got all of my passwords for my baby set and put in. And setting them takes just as long as putting them in. Um, so I set up them and all the programs, made sure they were something that was easy for them, tried to set them up to be the same on many, many things and the passwords to be the same. So that way it makes it much easier. That's just a teacher tip. If you have a choice, make your password something easy, make it the same on everybody's so that when you have to go back in and they forget their password, you won't have to go searching everywhere. Um, so that is a big teacher tip. Now, sometimes they can't be changed. Like they are what they are and you don't get a choice. And so for us, a lot of their passwords are their big old long um, power school number, 10 digits, can't help it. That's what it is. Um, I forgot my tripod at school, so I'm having to hold it with my hand, which is kind of awkward. Um, I really didn't think I would be videoing because I thought I was going to be riding all weekend. But now here I am, and I'm videoing without a tripod. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I got because I was super excited. I went to Ulta, which that's not really for my classroom, but it is for my hair. And it's kind of my, well, I guess my Cricut was kind of my birthday present to me. So maybe it's my after birthday present to me. Either way. I got something I've been wanting for my hair, and so that was from Ulta, so that's not for my classroom, but the rest of it pretty much is all for my classroom or things for my kiddos, so I just wanted to show you because I was kind of super excited about it. So, we'll start with Ulta because that's only one thing. So, I have been watching reviews and looking at this thing, and it kind of scares me, but... I'm thinking it's gonna work. I'm, I'm being hopeful because the reason why it scares me is because when I was younger, I guess like preteen, I had one of those braiders that like you clip your hair in and you push the button and it braids your hair and I got it stuck in my hair. And so like anytime I think about like a motorized something, and my hair, it kind of scares me. But I'm going to try it. I had a 20% off coupon and $8 like Ulta rewards. So I thought, why not try it out, see if it works. I've been wanting one. So excited that I got it. Then I went to Dollar Tree. Let me grab those bags. That's Walmart. Here's my Dollar Tree bag. So I got quite a few things from Dollar Tree. So the other day when I was at Walmart, I got these, I don't know, neon, well, they say pastel. The bright colored, um, what are these called? Pipe cleaners or fuzzy sticks. Um, I got them because I was going to make octopi for all of my kiddos, but I couldn't find any suckers. Like, do they not make suckers anymore? All I could find were dum-dums. And I didn't want, I wanted like bigger suckers. So I don't know if I wasn't looking in the right place or what. But I ended up not using them for that. So I decided to save them. I knew I would use them for something else because as teachers, we're always using stuff. So I ended up getting these two boxes. And they're just little, I'll open them up. Like I said, I'm having to hold so I'm having to do it one-handed. They're like this, and they have this one little spot right here. So I'm going to cut up my pipe cleaners and put them in those spots. I got two of these, 
And then let me see if I can find the thing that I got with them. I already have one pack of these that I used last year, um, but it's just an alphabet beads pack. And there's 325 in there. And um, my kids love, I used, like I said, I did this last year. I just didn't have those containers for it. I just put them all in like a little pencil box. Um, but they love sorting through those and spelling out their spelling words and putting them on the pipe cleaners. They love that. So I got a little bit more jazzy this year with the containers and the words there. I also, I love to get different things for them to use on their hundreds board to cover up their hundreds board because it might seem like a gimmick and it probably is and that's okay, but kids love to use different kinds of manipulatives and so I found these cute little, they're all different colored eyes. And I mean, you could use them for crafts, but I got, there's um, 60 in there. So I got two packs of those and I figured I could use them on hundreds board. There's different sizes, um, but I, I don't think that'll matter and they can cover up their numbers to count on their hundreds board or their tens frames, 10 frames. Um, so I thought they would be good to add to my math manipulatives and it would just be something cute for them and they would like that. I also, I made up my little crates, which I'm going to share those in a video coming soon. Um, but in my crates, I want to put a whiteboard of some sort in there. I have these calendar whiteboards. I don't, I don't really like them. They work great to use like as a lap board to write on, but not so great because the kids don't know where to write on them because they're it's a calendar. Um, but I do have regular whiteboards too. But anyway, so I needed some erasers and I used to use little fuzzy pom poms. And so now I got these to use because I have aprons for them to wear at their reading group. And so I got purple and green because it matches their apron. I also got these because I thought, who doesn't need labels? They're beautiful. They're pretty. I could cut some letters with my Cricut and put on there, or I could just write on there. But there's 30 labels for a dollar and they're pretty. Loved them. Um, I also needed another one of these. I need one at school and I need one at home. And the one I had here at home, I took to school. And so I needed to grab another one. So technically this one's for home, but I use it at school so we can call it school because the one I had here, I took there. I got this little set of tweezers because, first of all, it was a dollar. Um, and I did not buy any tools when I got my Cricut. And I realized this is for Cricut, but Cricut's going to be used for school. So I figured technically it's still for school. Um, but I didn't buy any of the extra tools. Most of them are like tweezers and things to like pull the vinyl or the paper away or hold it in place. So I thought I would try it out. It might work just as good. And it's a dollar. I also, I already have several of these and I wanted to make one or a couple different ones for my kids. I know, once again, it's kind of gimmicky but it works, especially for first graders. The kids love to use these to like cook up words, bake up words, fry up words, cut up words. They just love them. They think they're the greatest. And I do too, I think they're kind of cool. And so I got two more of those and I already had two, so I'll just split them between my four. Now this next thing may seem far-fetched, but that's okay. I got these little party favors. Can you see they're like rings that are compasses? And I got these that are like gems and sparkly rings. Um, what I thought I would do with these, I have a lot of like pointers, um, like stirs, um, drink stirs that I use for pointers. I have the fingers that are like, um, what do you call them? Witch, witch fingers that I have in there but I thought that might be cool they could just put it on their finger and use that as a pointer and it might like help them to point to their words and separate their words 
Like I said, another gimmick. I'm all about them. Whatever works. And I have tons and tons and tons of washi tape. So if if my friend Whitney is watching this, don't judge. Because I know that the homegirl has a lot of washi tape. But I don't have any like this, so I needed it. These are little bitty washi tape. And so I don't have any, oh, sorry, it didn't focus. These are little bitty washi tape. And so I didn't have any little bitty washi tape. And there's seven of them for a dollar. And they're little, so I thought those would be great for my planner. Because I'm always having to cut my washi tape because mine's, like, bigger. And then I watched a video because, you know, I'm a YouTube freak. So I watched a video about this awesome, what's it called? Oh, it's called. LA's totally awesome. And they were talking about on the video, and I've seen this several different places, and she said it worked. I watched her do it on her mat. Um, that this works great to clean your Cricut mats, and it still stays sticky after you clean them. So I'm hoping that's going to be true because um, I'm kind of OCD about stuff like that. I don't like all these little pieces on my mat. And what else is in this bag? Oh, I think it's my other set of eyes. Yeah, my other set of googly eyes. And then this one, thanks to my friend Barbara Purcell, she told me that the other day she went to Dollar Tree and she thought she was just getting paper, like glitter paper, which who doesn't love and need glitter paper? But the cool thing about this glitter paper, it is special glitter paper because it is adhesive glitter paper adhesive it sticks and there's three pieces to a pack and I got several of them there's I don't know if you can see the three colors in there um, this one has some pretty colors in there too purple um, there's some different ones can you see the colors and I just bought everything they had because I'm new to Cricut and I need lots of cheap stuff to use on it. So I'm super excited about that because there's all kinds of things that I can make in my classroom that I wouldn't want to use my expensive <clears throat> vinyl for, but that these would work perfectly. So super excited about that. I'm kind of running out of room on my couch here. I also got two packs of these. Now I have several of these in my reading pack. Um, but I thought the kids might like some different ones. These are, these have smileys. Some of them, they're, they're different kinds. They have like smileys and rainbows and flowers and butterflies and sports. Um, and I just got two packs of them and I figured I could mix them up. They're readers, you know, to highlight the words that you're reading in your story. And kids like that because it helps them to track, um, what they're reading and the words they're reading and, that kind of thing. So you can never have too many of those in the classroom because kids are kind of destructive and they tear them up. And I figure 10 for a dollar, that's amazing. I could give every child one and still be okay with that. And then the last thing I got, I didn't know if these would work very well and I'm still not completely sold on them. But with a little hot glue, they work phenomenal. So I got three, three, three packs of these command hooks because I have my math bags on the back of my chairs and they are constantly falling off and the hooks are breaking and they're tearing apart. But three for a dollar, can't beat them. And then I'm always wanting to hang up stuff around my wall in my classroom. And so these will work perfect. So that's what I got at Dollar Tree. And then I went to Walmart. And so let's talk about Walmart for a second. First of all, I really don't like going to Walmart, but it's just a necessity. You have to go to Walmart. It has what you need, even if you don't like it. So I, I have, okay, once again, if you know me and you've been in my classroom and you know all the stuff I have in there, do not judge me because I truly did need these things that I got, even if I had stuff already. So I love scrapbook paper. I love it for using for all different kinds of things. But what I've noticed is that I am truly attracted to all the bright patterned packs of scrapbook paper. So then I end up needing plain, um, what do you call it? Colored, uh, I don't know what you call it. Plain, not colored, I mean not patterned, whatever. Um, so I got this pack 
of paper and I figured the bright pack I might need it too so I got those two packs of that I also I I print a lot of my things for my interactive notebook on Astro bright paper and I have some already in my classroom but I went ahead and got another pack of it while I was getting paper and then because I have my Cricut I figured that I would experiment with making some stickers for my planner. I also, really cool, I made my own logo, a new logo for my channel and for my Teachers Pay Teachers store, and I really like it, and it's really cute, but it's not like a vinyl. You can't, like, print it on. I mean, I could print it on vinyl and peel it off like a sticker, but I figured I would try that out with some sticker paper and try some experimenting, experimenting with that. Also, our laminator at school seems to be broke every time I go in there to use it, like constantly. And I don't know why, if it's like jamming, if too many people are using it, if it's just running out of laminating. And I've been debating about getting my own laminator. I mean, you couldn't do big things on it, but just a, a small laminator. And so I've been looking at them for a while. So I finally broke down and I bought myself a laminator. And I got a Scotch, because I like Scotch brand. And it's just a thermal laminator. I didn't get the heavy duty one or the big one. I figured eight and a half by 11 was just fine with me. And it is a thermal laminator and has two starter pouches with it. Protects items from damage. I figure I kind of know how a laminator works has two heat settings. I figure it'll work great. They had a heavy duty one. I mean, this one was literally like less than $20. They had a heavy duty one that like heats up in a minute. Um, that was like $35. I'm not really, and it does a little bit longer pouches, but the pouches are more expensive for those. So I don't get the, I don't get the savings and I can wait longer than a minute. I can wait however long it takes for the extra $15 to do this, it'll be cool. And then like for $22, which I thought was a deal, I got 150 three milliliter, three millimeter thick pouches. That's great. Cause a lot of my things will fit lots in that pouch. So then I'll just laminate it and I figure it'll work. We'll make it, we'll make it work. I'm hoping. If you don't think it'll work, just don't tell me yet. Let me find out on my own because I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Like the only thing I'm worried about is if I laminate stuff and it's smaller than that pouch, am I going to be able to cut around it like I do on a regular laminator? That's the only thing I don't know. That's what I, I'm not sure about. The rest of it, I'm, I mean, I know how laminator works. I use it all the time at school. So that's the only thing. So if you don't think it will... Or you know it won't. Just don't burst my bubble yet. Let me find out on my own. And be sad. Um, also, I've been looking. <laughs> let me tell you. School supplies were cleared out. No school supplies to be found. Except for in the school section. And most of them must have been packed in the back. They had that, that whole section cleared out for Halloween. They figured after the first week, if you ain't got it, you ain't getting it. And I needed some. That's. That's my doggie. He loves his squeakies. <laughs> DR, stop. <laughs> okay, so I, I wanted some pencil pouches. <laughs> stop. DR, hang on, let me. <laughs> stop. <laughs> so I wanted some pencil pouches to put in my crates that I'm going to share with you later. And there were only three. I think is all they had. So I was like, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. And Dollar Tree didn't have any purple of the sandwich ones like I use sometimes. But, and I don't know how well these are work. So that's why I only got the purple ones. Um, because I figured the containers are not going to stay on them very well. But we're going to try them. So I got two sets of these. I meant to get two more. I got two and I, meant, I need three. So I'll have to go back. I don't know what I was thinking. Because I need six for my containers. But I figure I could take my Cricut 
put the little label there and maybe they'll stay on well enough if they're in my bucket and the kids aren't using them all the time um, for what I need them for, for my little stations and manipulatives that stay in my crates. So I'm going to try them. We're going to see how they'll work because I don't know that the lids will stay on. That's the only thing I don't like about these kind of containers is those lids aren't always securely attached onto there. Um, also, I have this idea, and I already have black and white uh, paper straws, and then I want to get some different colors, and I thought that I would make up labels. Well, look, I bought labels, so I could just attach them to paper and put some questions inside the labels and print them out and then have them on the sticks. And at the end of math class, they could be good for math chalks, have different one color for math, one color for reading, um, one, and for reading, have one for fiction, one for nonfiction. That's my idea. If I do make them, I'll put them in my teacher pay teacher store, trying to think through what I'm gonna do. But I found these and I thought they would be good for that idea. And so I got those. And then also my friend, had a birthday the other day and I wanted to make her something but I hadn't had a chance so I'm behind but I found this cute little black tin and so I thought I would print something on my Cricut and put it in there and she could just use it for that and then I got these because I thought I could print on my Cricut and that's what I would put those fancy straws in with some tissue paper and it would be cute and I could have one for math one for reading nonfiction one for fiction so and I think that's it. That's all I got, which is a lot. Um, but I'm super excited about it. And now I'm going to go in here and be creative either with my hair and try my little curler out or my Cricut or both. Maybe I'll do them both at the same time. Have a great day.